Now, car tokenization is likely to be a reality very soon. My colleague Sakshi Bajaj joins us and tells us how this will work and what it could mean for you and me. Be it shopping or watching a movie, the way we conduct our transactions is all set to change. In short, the way we pay for our consumption will change. Tokenization here refers to replacing actual card details with a code called the token. Sources in the note told NDTV the basic purpose of tokenization is to improve customer safety. Consumers will now have the ultimate authority before really anyone else on their sensitive information. The RBI had earlier, remember, emphasized that a tokenized card will ensure that there are lesser frauds committed in terms of domestic online payments. Credit card and debit card tokenization does not allow merchants to store your data and also gives an added layer of protection through entering your CVV and the OTP received, thereby making online transactions even more safer. Sources told NDTV, while most large merchants have already adapted to this change, the focus will now be on enabling small merchants to be able to do this soon. So what are really some of the key questions? Now, many have, of course, asked us that can tokenization be enabled through a smartwatch or some other such device? The Well, the feature of tokenization for now has been mobilized on your mobile phone and your tablets only at the moment. The other key question really is, can a customer request for tokenization on a number of cards? Well, yes, at the moment, the customer shall be free to use any of the cards registered with this token request on the app. And is tokenization really mandatory for all customers? Well, the answer to that really is no. But of course, we've clearly been told and we've been you know, listening to the highlights really from the RBI earlier also that this will be a safer way going forward.